Hi, this is Dr. Bill Wyatt again, and I want to talk to you a little bit more about some of these deep bite cases that we have. This is a, a unique one. Uh, it's not really the deepest that I've ever, ever had, but it was uh, more involved. Uh, this uh, man was an air traffic controller, and uh, he had to speak correctly and good uh, so that the pilots of the planes coming into the Dallas-Fort Worth airport <coughs> could uh, understand him clearly. So I had to adjust my uh, block that I used to open the bite with. Uh, but as I show you this case, you can see it's deep enough, you know, and a uh, uh, real nice guy, real uh, thin fella, and, uh, but uh, I wanted to give him just a little bit more vertical dimension down here. I think it would look better uh, if we uh, did that, so we're going to try to put the uh, block that we opened the bite with in the anterior part of the mouth. So I thought I would put a removable one and it just wasn't, uh, we couldn't talk with that thing if he took it out. So we're going to try to give him a little more vertical dimension of the face. Not much. Just make it look a little bit better. So anyway, let's uh, go through and look at his teeth. Now, these are deep enough. I mean, uh, and they're kind of cupped back in. So uh, the teeth are pushed back. So we're going to have to uh, elevate these and actually bring them out buckly, you know, to give them some more torque. And then we'll have to lower the anterior teeth. So they're, they're way up in there. I don't give you a picture looking in from the back side of his models, but I... I uh, didn't have them with me right up here, and so I don't have that picture, but you can visualize they're right up in the roof of this guy's mouth. And the speaking was uh, pretty difficult like this. Now uh, we've, okay, we'll show this, this side of the mouth now is slightly class two. Uh, and this side over on the left now that was the right was slightly class two the left side is pretty much class one and when you look at the end uh, the midline you see it's off in that uh, direction uh, so <coughs> we took this gentleman the very first day you know and put all this stuff on now he's missing a tooth over here in this side the mouth so we have to put a tube on this side to hold that space open we we don't do that right away but after just a few appointments we put that uh, tube on there and uh, we have both upper and lower intruding arches here with a good bit of activation in both of them trying to level these arches out and there's another arch wire in there, and that's the arch wire that we will tie back and hold the, the tension on this and not let these just spread out. So it's it's putting, or it's helping you put torque into these teeth, and we get enough torque from that to do the uh, do the job of holding those back. So I'm going to go on through these. Now this is from the side, and you can see this gap that we've got in here is uh, fairly uh, wide and of course he lost a molar tooth there uh, his dentist or somebody that had taken his tooth out just a little before we got to, uh, to see the man and we'll have to build a lower retainer with a saddle in there while they do the implant that they were going to put on there so uh, in some of these teeth, I had a little problem, so I actually bonded uh, and, and put bands on, on some of the bicuspids, looks like. Now, 
over oh, here we go on the right side we've got these intruding arches plus the other flexible wire in there and we were using these speed brackets which uh, I don't want to say anything bad about them but uh, they sure didn't speed it up they, uh, they were more difficult for me to use than just our regular old brackets uh, putting them in there uh, that doesn't speak very well of the speed bracket but anyway uh, they, they were nice brackets other than that you might get a lot of enjoyment out of using them now we first put a a removable bite plate up above but he could not speak with it uh, speak clearly and so he even considered not uh, going through with the treatment of this but we encouraged him to go ahead and go with it and I'm not uh, we banded his bicuspids there to kind of hold that uh, a little more steady no, uh, we didn't have to do that, but uh, see, we've done it. Uh, now, on the bottom, the teeth were pretty crowded, you know, where they were up underneath there, and so we've got the intruding wire on there. And I'm going to run through these right quick. Now, this is showing you way on down the line where we had opened the bite, and uh, these other teeth were down here somewhere, and of course, we lowered these and raised these and he uh, we held it open so these teeth could erupt to some and that will increase the vertical height of the face down here this lower third of the face now that slide showing the case further down the line so we did <laughs> succeed now we've got a whole slew of uh, these little benign tumors in the mouth and uh, they don't give you any problem at all um, as far as I know. Of course they rob the tongue of some of the space that it has and sometimes they get t tissue gets real thin and it gets get irritated. Now you can lay a flap here and have these taken off if you want to uh, and just back it down to the regular jaw uh, bone itself and then the tongue will have a little bit more room up there I see we a little calculus on the side of that tooth right there too uh, now when we look at this is uh, this was oops three of 06, uh, January, March 17th of 06, and here we are again, we've still not uh, got this put on there at that time, this is the, uh, where the molar had been extracted, so these are some real early uh, pictures right there of the case when it started and here's the facial structure again and we will try to give him just a little bit more uh, vertical height of the face so uh, 8 of 06 and we're using that speed bracket on the case all right here we've made some progress we're getting this open again and we had to alter the deal that we put in there and this is what i wanted to show uh, you can come in and bond something to the back of these upper front teeth and then just have him touch or close in there and leave a track and use that and that was sufficient reduction in the supplies that he could uh, speak and was able to carry on with his job with the air traffic controller and and he had to be able to be heard correctly and so we put that in there and found out we could get him to speak quite good with that 
and this is still got the intruding wires on there. It took a, quite a while to get him uh, lined up. That is, it, we intruded these teeth, they torqued them, and then this uh, arch wire right in here, we would hold it in place and not let these teeth spread out anymore. And then that put torque into the teeth as we put pressure would be on the bottom it would be uh, downward pressure top or upper uh, pressure and hold those teeth in place now this is a piece of triad acrylic and we just bonded it to the back of these teeth and he bit into this little deal right here and he could speak good on this and we read this out some here and it let the tongue have room enough to uh, make the sound for the words that he needed to use and he was able to speak good with this and we carried on with that throughout the case uh, now this is the bottom it's it's gone down and spread out you see it was crowded before it is spread out quite a bit we'll go ahead and get these teeth lined up uh, as good as we can there and this is uh, another picture we just shot them they keep up in the case and uh, we're still using that little upper bite plate that we bonded on the back of the teeth and he can speak in that and it takes up very little room and so we Go ahead and proceed with that. Uh, I'm trying to get this finished out for this uh, gentleman. He's a very nice guy, and I really wanted to get this working properly for him. So, and it did. It worked real good. And we carried on with this. Now, this is a little further down the line, and we've got this thing pretty well open, and these teeth are coming in contact back in here and we don't like much finishing him up here uh, this is out of focus but uh, there we're a little better and we tied these teeth together we laced them and that's on the inside of your arch wire so you don't have to take this off every time you adjust the arch wire or anything that's a, we've shown that on several cases now that's uh, out of focus I don't know who taking all these pictures we have one lady was doing this this is 08 and here we finish the case now and we are taking him uh, take everything off and we're putting retainers in and I'll show you them in just a minute. Uh, we clean the brackets off and try to polish them up. And now we do have him uh, wearing retainers. Now you can see the implant that they're putting in right here. And we had to make a lower uh, wraparound retainer with a saddle. And it's holding this space and it's right here open and also had the tooth from above was hitting on top of this uh, retainer that we had and then we've got a twisted wire three to three retainer on the lower anterior teeth and the space for the molar bands hadn't closed up completely yet but we'll squeeze that and pull that together right there uh, let's uh, see now here are the retainers that we came up with now this little one has this saddle and if you look real close you can see the top of that little screw that they put in for the implant uh, picture of it in that but this sets right on that and this other in fact, we probably gave this some relief so it wouldn't have pressure on that button down there. And he could go ahead and chew on these teeth and it would hit this right here but not push on the implant too, too much. 
and uh, this is the upper retainer which he probably took out through most of the time while he's working but put back in when he was through through with that and here the upper retainer is in the mouth and uh, there are the lower retainers in the mouth so it contacts here but we relieved it underneath there so it didn't put any pressure on the implant and then we had this little saddle kind of lapped over on the teeth on each end and that takes most of the pressure you put on this right here but I still if I remember correctly relieve that to uh, some extent down underneath there and so this is a uh, um, so, so that's the last picture I've got on it, but just showing you how you can open a terribly deep bite, uh, and we got it wide open, you see, it'll settle down just a little bit, or maybe it's not even biting completely in there, so anyway, this is a real deep bite, and we use this block in a different way, we bonded it behind the upper anterior teeth and made it just a very small thing. And this, you can see the implant right back here. Uh, this, the, the screw is down in there. So, you get on the adults, you're going to have lots of different things like implants and periodontal disease and uh, different things. The teeth that have wear facets and all this. But uh, we finished it up. The man was very happy with it and could speak and uh, be heard as an air traffic controller. So thank you for listening to this and uh, show you there are different things you have to adapt to when you get into adult orthodontics and start doing these things. So thank you very much for listening out. And I'm going to let you go now. Thank you again. Bye-bye.